Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I have one of the most mind-blowing iPhone tips that I've ever put out. It's probably the best tip that you can use with your iPhone and that most people don't know. And even if they do know it, they don't understand the power of this tip and how cool and useful it can be. And that's why I'm going to show you that in this video today. Let's get started. All right, so for this tip, we're going to be using first off the shortcuts application and then a back tap feature, which I showed in another video. Now, even if you know what back tap and shortcut is, I'm going to show you how they tie into each other to create something that is literally going to be a productivity dream and also cool at the same time. So let's start by opening our shortcuts application. If you can't find it at all, you can always just search your app library. Just type it in shortcuts it'll appear and this is traditionally how it looks if you've never used it and we're going to start by adding a shortcut now when we tap the plus here we have an ability to add an action we'll tap add action and this is where we can add various actions within the phone and create these extra abilities so let's tap on apps and let's say we wanted to open up our camera so we tap camera we can tap take a photo now at this point we can change what these little blue options are. So one photo or back. So let's say we wanted it to take a selfie. We can tap on back and set it to the front facing camera. Now I'll go over this a little bit slower after I show you how powerful and how it works, just so you understand everything. But that's what we're going to set it up as and we're going to tap next. And then where it says shortcut name, this is for Siri. So if you want to activate your Siri to perform the action, you can tell Siri, hey, you know who and then say whatever you type here. So I'll just say take a selfie. So if you ever use Siri, you can, we'll tap done. And there's our shortcut in our shortcut library. Next, let's go back to our home screen here and open our settings application. And let's just go down to the accessibility section here, the touch settings, and then scroll all the way to the bottom where it says back tap. Now back tap is pretty simple. As I showed you on the other phone here, all you're doing is double tapping or tapping three times on the back of your phone and it's going to perform whatever action that you enable. So what we're going to do is enable one here. We tap the double tap option and you have the standard ones here where you can make it open up the notification center. You can choose what it's going to do with a double tap. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, we have the options here where we can set up our shortcuts. And that one right here, take a selfie, is the one we just created. So if we tap on that, it check marks it. Now, anytime we use our phone and we want to take a selfie, all we have to do is double tap. I'm going to take the case off. And I usually like to tap around the Apple logo. So we'll just do a quick double tap here. And there you go. The camera app opens. It's pretty seamless too, at least for my phones. I know that some people may or may not have uh, an iPhone 12 mini or 12 Pro, but it should work on older iPhones as well. I believe up to an iPhone 10, I want to say, but uh, you're just double tapping and it's going to perform that action for you. And there's even the triple tap option here as well. So if you set up a triple tap, you can choose one of these options. But let's jump back into our shortcuts application here. I'm going to go through this a little bit slower so you can see the whole process. Now, shortcuts here is going to allow us to perform those actions. We're on the iPhone 12 Pro now. Let's tap the plus and add an action. So maybe you use different things like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and you want to be able to quickly capture that moment or open the app without having to find it, tap it, then click maybe send a tweet or something like that. So we have Twitter here. We're going to tap on it and it's going to give us some options here to tweet, create a new tweet, send a direct message and all of that. So we want to be able to open up Twitter instantly and have it set to create a tweet. And what we can do now at this point is just tap next. And at the top again, we can give it a name. So we'll just say send tweet and this is for a Siri as well. Now that shortcut is created right here. If we go back into our settings, go into our accessibility and the touch settings all the way down to back tap. Now we can set the triple tap as well to our send a tweet. So we have send tweet here. So now we have two options. Double tap takes a selfie and triple tap will send out a tweet. So now let's give that a test right here. Now we also have a case on this iPhone, so we'll get a better idea of how uh, successful it is. So double tap and it's going to open up our selfie camera and then a triple tap 
and there we go. We've opened up Twitter and we can send our tweet out as we want it. So imagine you're on the go, you got one hand on the phone and you quickly want to take a selfie and you double tap, you got things in your other hand, you've got your selfie camera. That's the power of this is to create the shortcut that benefits your life and what you do. Tie that in to the back tap features and options here. And you have two extra features that literally are as simple as one handed tapping on the back of your iPhone. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful, enjoyable. If you run into any issues, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I use the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Mini or 12 Mini and it should work, I believe, for iPhone 10 and newer. It may even work for older phones. Test it out, let me know which phone it works for you. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, click the bell notification box for great iPhone tips, tricks, and tech videos. And if you wanna help out the channel, there's also a Patreon link in the description. And as always, the full playlist to more iPhone videos is in the description as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.